and welcome to your check-in. Um, I've got some children here with me and we're going to show you how to do some estimating, some counting with correspondence and how to use a number line. Enjoy! Okay, so we have quite an interesting class today. We have got Mr... Adam. Mr... Sugar. And Mr... Bye. And then we've got lots of other pupils here. Mr. Pen, Mr. Penguin. Yeah, there's no children. There's not as many children in school, so we're using some of these. And today, we're going to learn how to estimate, how to count with correspondence, and how to use a number line. So, normally when nursery come into school, one of the things I ask them is... How many children do you estimate are in the classroom? Right, put your hand up if you can tell me. What do I mean when I say estimate? Reuben. It means have a good guess. A good guess. So, let me stand back so we can see all the children here. Um, if I said, oh, I think... Now, remember, the animals for this video, the animals on the shapes are children as well. If I said, I think there's three children... Would that be a sensible guess? No. no. Uh, Adam, why not? Because that's just a tiny number. We can that's... see there's definitely more than three just by looking. Um, if I said there was 50 children there, would that be a good guess? No, because, um, no, that's, just because that's too big. That's too many. What would I do if there were 50 children here? You'd run out of the classroom. I would run out the classroom, never to be seen again. So, I'm going to ask you in turn to give me a sensible guess. Reuben, what's your guess? Um, six. Six. Sorry about the wobbliness of this. Um, all right, I need one of you to help me for this. So, um, Adam, can you write six on our whiteboard, please? Where's your whiteboard pen? Here we go. Here's a pen. Oh, thank you. All right, can you write the number six? Remember, if you don't know how to write number six, we look on our number line don't we and we can count from zero or from one up to six so adam's writing six okay whose was that estimate reuben reuben right hugo what how many do you think there is what's a sensible estimate um, of how many children including these animals there are we don't count do we we just have a sensible guess no counting no counting what are you going to say? Eleven. Eleven. Well done. Okay, Adam, my personal assistant, can you write eleven on the board, please? I wish I could write eleven. It's just one. It's just one. It's just two ones. Two one. Well done. It is just a one and a one. Right, Mr. Adam Schiffers, what is your estimate? Nine. Nine. Okay. Do you want to write that one then, Hugo? Um, yeah. All right. Nine. Thank you, Adam, for letting him do that. I don't even so, which is, we have a 6, we have an 11, we have a 9. Which is the smallest number? Adam, Hugo, which is the smallest number? 6, 11 or 9? 6. And which is the biggest number? 11. Well done. Okay, right, sit down. Now... We need to check to see who's closest. If no one got it exactly right, does it matter? No. No, because we're just estimating, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so do we count just like this? One, two, three, no, four. That's just saying numbers. That's just saying numbers. So we have to count with... Do you remember what we call it? Estimation. No, if we're counting, we have to count with... Cor Correspondence. Correspondence. Well done, Adam. Which means we have to gently touch each animal to make sure we've counted it and do we have a system is there a best way to do it hugo is there a best way to do it um, how do we count to make sure we haven't left anyone out i'm going to ask reuben to demonstrate i think one by one reuben where do we start normally We do. There's no one there, so I think we'll have to start with Mr. P 
Pet penguin. So Reuben. Hugo, not you. You sit down. Reuben is going to go up one row, down the other to carefully check. So Reuben, do it exactly how we do it in class normally. Okay, Reuben, I'm going to stop you there. Come back to Mr. Penguin and think about how we normally go up one row, down the other. Have another go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, just let him have a rest. Well done. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And who's fourteen? And who have you who have you left out? Yourself. Well done. Fifteen. Right, Reuben. Do you want to have a go at writing fifteen on there? Because you said you hadn't written a number. Well done, that was brilliant. We normally go up one row, down the other, so we haven't missed anyone out. But it is looking a bit different in the classroom today, so that might have been why we got... Oh, it's a teen number, so it's going to begin with a... One. One. Is there a clue? One and a five. Five. Do we say five teen? Three. It does sound like three, but it's actually a five. But we don't say five teen, do we? We say fifteen. So one and a five. Right. Who's... It's very close. I'm going to show you how to do it, Reuben. Whose number was closest? Was it six, no. eleven or nine? Um, eleven. How do you know that was closest to fifteen? How do you know? Because it's the highest. It is the highest one. So if we were using a number line, we could check. Adam, can you come and find 11, please? Well done. How many jumps until you get to 15? One, two, three, four. Four jumps. So... Could you find number six, please? Because that was another estimate. Where's number six? It's all the way down there. How many jumps for that to get to 15? One, two, three. Oh, you start on six and then jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm going to use my very wise Mr. Sheep. Okay, we start on six. And we jump. So we don't jump on six, do we? We jump to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine jumps to 15. Thank you. Now, normally we just use this little number line to help us. So if I said, Adam, yeah. I've, you have got four sweets. And I'm going to give you two more. How could you find out how many you've got using the number line? If you had four sweets, use this number line. What if you, how did you do that, though? How many did you have in the first place? Four. Four. So point to four. And how many sweets did I give you? Two. Two. So what do you have to do? Jump up to five and then six. Yeah, because you're doing two jumps. Yeah. One... Two. You don't jump to number two, do you? Because that would be taking the sweets away. Okay, you, thank you, you Adam. You won't do one. You have to jump one jump. You won't go one, two. No, you have That'll to jump forward. And you have to jump on the number or the black line, not in the middle. Otherwise, you'll get confused. Okay, thank you. Sit back, Adam. Okay. Do you want to say hello and goodbye? Hello, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for that maths lesson and hopefully say I'll see you soon friends. Bless you Hugo. Let's go.